Okay, so looking at Pearson 12A.2, looking at question 10, um, you've got a street performer standing on a tightrope. So in this particular scenario, what you've got is a tightrope that's sort of being bent down because this guy's standing on it, so he's going to be exerting a weight force like so, and then that's going to be in equilibrium because of two tensional forces like this. And it's told you uh, the mass, but says that the rope makes an angle of 10 degrees to the horizontal. And what that would mean is this angle here is 10 degrees, or you can also say this angle here is 10 degrees. So in this scenario, where a lot of students become a little bit unstuck is they think that there's only one tensional force acting. But because the rope has been essentially divided into two, um, you've got two tensional forces acting in the opposite direction to each other. So if we were to... Uh, redraw this as a vector diagram, what you'd end up with is a weight force that's coming down over here, and then one side of the tensional force will be doing this, and the other side will be, oops, will be doing that. And then what you've got now is uh, a triangle which can be broken up into two right angle triangles. So that's what I would do at this point, is I would now, uh, because you know the tensions should be equal to one another, um, you could come down and say, well, that's the same as saying that there is a, a force that's going down as W on 2, and then like that, and you got a tensional force doing this. And the angle here was that 10 degrees, like that. So all I've done is I've just captured that side of it, and I've created it here, which is why you've got the W on 2. So a common mistake will probably be to keep the W there, and you'll end up with twice the answer that you're after. So from here, I know that in this particular case, sine of 10 is going to be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that would mean that the tension force, uh, so this is for both tension forces, is going to be equal to W on uh, 2 sine 10. And in this case, that is 75 times 9.8 over 2 sine 10 which is equal to 2120 newtons in three significant figures. And there you go.